setting up Redis Enterprise on Google Cloud is very simple and easy to do. I'll show you how to set it up. I will show you some things you should know. And then finally, I will show you how to set up a VPC peering connection, which is a connection between two different VPCs. You should definitely know how to set up a VPC peering connection because it allows you to connect your application to an external source like Redis Enterprise on a private connection. Not only is it more secure, but it also provides lower latency as there's less traffic on private networks compared to the public networks. And finally, it's also more cost effective because cloud providers typically will charge lower and fewer fees on transferring data on private networks compared to public networks. So it's more secure, it's more performant with less latency, and it's more cost effective. So let's dive in. Inside of the Google Marketplace, we are going to search for Redis. We'll select the top result, Redis Enterprise Cloud, which is our Redis Enterprise as a managed service. There are some really great information here on the product, pricing, documentation, and support. We also currently have a 400 credit promotion. Take advantage of that while it's still going on. Click subscribe. There's only a couple of things we need to do here. Uh, we'll go ahead and select a usage-based shard. And we also need to agree to the terms. And after that, we can hit subscribe. After a moment, it looks like our order is now active. Let's go ahead and go to the product page. Now we just need to enable it. It'll take a second for the Google's API and service details page to pop up. Once you're there, go ahead and click Manage via Redis so we can set up our actual subscription and database. This will open up a separate tab for you to authenticate with the GCP account that you currently have. After you've authenticated, you'll land on the Redis Enterprise Cloud UI where we are now ready to set up a subscription. Go ahead and click Add Subscription. As you can see here, we are integrated with GCP. It is automatically selected GCP as our cloud vendor. Let's go ahead and select the US East. We also need to name all our subscription. And then I'll go ahead and leave Active Active and Redis on Flash off for now. Let's expand our advanced options. I'm going to leave multi-AZ enabled. And then the last section here is for our VPC configuration. We get a lot of questions on the deployment CIDR or CIDR. The deployment CIDR is used to select a range where our Redis Enterprise project will be deployed. For example, we could put a range of 10.0.1.0, for example, and that is where our project will be deployed in this VPC, in that range. Um, and it's really important that whatever range you put here, it shouldn't overlap with your application VPC CIDR block or any peered network to your application VPC, as they won't be able to connect to each other. Let's go ahead and put uh, my default back here. All right, and then the last option is whether or not we prefer an availability zone or not. And next, we'll go ahead and set up our databases. Let's click Continue. So now here, we get to set up our database. Let's go ahead and click the blue plus button on the very right. First, let's name this database. And then we can set the throughput uh, that we'll need either by operation per second or number of shards. And then the memory limit, high availability. And then under the advanced options, we can select the data persistence options and what modules we want. I'll go ahead and select uh, Redis Search for this JSON and time series. And then what's really cool is we can actually duplicate this database for however many that we need. I'll go ahead and just uh, go with one and then click Save Database. And then you can set up more if you need. We'll go ahead and click Continue. We've got our review page. And then we'll go ahead and click Create Subscription. After you've created your subscription, it may take a minute or two for it to be set up. We'll click on Connectivity. 
click Add Peering. There's only two things that we'll need here, the project ID and the network name of the GCP VPC that we're trying to peer into. Um, I'll show you where you can get that. But before that, I highly recommend that you copy the Google Cloud command. This is our VPC information for our Redis Enterprise VPC project, and which we'll need later in our other VPC to complete the pairing. To get your project ID in GCP, simply click the down arrow on your project up here, and then you can get your ID right here. And then for the network name, that's simply just going to be the name of your VPC network that you've set up inside of GCP. All right, so back in my Redis Enterprise Cloud UI, I'm going to be putting in the project ID as well as my network name. All right, and go ahead and click Initiate Peering. Okay, so we've sent that off. Now we need to set up the peering on the other side as well. The very last thing that we need to do is go into our VPC inside of our GCP console and click on the VPC network peering tab, click add peering. We can name this whatever we want. We can do VPC Redis peering. We're going to be peering into another project. And remember I told you to copy the Google Cloud command in the Redis Enterprise UI. Go ahead and grab that note. We'll need to input the peer network into the network VPC name. And then we will need to put the peer project into the peer ID. All right, go ahead and click Create. And that is the last thing that we need to do. After a minute or so, we will get an active status. As you can see here, just after a minute or two, we have our active status. And we'll go ahead and go into our Redis Enterprise UI as well to check the status. It looks like we are active in our Redis Enterprise Cloud UI as well. So that covers it for this Lightning demo. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much.